Good day, class. Today's topic is uh, type of soil. The type of soil recommended for snail farming. We have different types of soil. One, we have the, the loamy soil, the rocky soil, the sandy soil, and uh, a swampy soil. Now let's take them one by one. You all know this, but for the purpose of uh, clarity, rocky soil, sharp soil, loamy soil are everywhere. One, when we talk about a, a, a rocky, there are little sandy there, there are rock, and the majority of the rock dominates the sand. In that case, plants will still grow. But we are talking about the snail itself. When the snail lay, one, rocky soil will be difficult for them to borrow. They borrow the ground and they put their, their, their eggs. Rocky soil will be difficult for them. Two ways. Either you provide, if you have a rocky soil, either you provide some foliage of trees. If you get to <clears throat> in Lori, for instance, you see a foliage of um, cashew nut. The foliage of cashew nut will never get decayed. The leaves of cashew leaf, when they pour on the ground, go and check, they hardly decay. So you cover the whole soil in the farm with that. If the snail enter under, under will be cold. They lay their egg there without borrowing. The coverage of it will make the egg harsh. That is solution to a, a rocky soil. That is to say, if you have a rocky soil, you can still practice with a solution. But if you have a sandy soil, I don't think sandy soil has a solution. The reason why sandy soil doesn't have solution, the soil is hot. It doesn't retain water, it's hot. When it absorbs heat, it retains heat. That is why sharp sand soil or sandy is not recommended. Now let's move to loamy. Loamy is a recommended soil for snail farming approved because of its ability to retain water. It retains water for hashability, it retains water for humidity, and so more. Now, now, you might ask, what about swamp? Swamp retain excess water. When water gathers in swampy soil, the water is too much for the eggs. And when eggs stays on water, it fails. The hashability and the humidity nature of the soil is too high. When the humidity nature of the soil is too high, egg will not hash. When the humidity nature of the soil is too low, egg will not hash. So you have to prepare a very good humidity. You can test your soil. If you have a farm, please, you can, get, you can buy a, a, a humidity uh, or temperature. We call it the indoor-outdoor thermometer with hydrometer clock. This is what you use in checking humidity in your farm. You can buy it. You might leave it. So, with this, you know the type of soil you have. Now, when we talk about loamy soil, some people just believe that when the soil is brown or dark or black, it's loamy. No. We have red loamy. Red loamy is mainly found in the Edo State, east, starting from Aquaibom down to Edo State, you have red loamy. And there's also white loamy in Delta State. So, how am I sure this is loamy soil? You pack your sand, compress it. If it congeals, there's water in it. But if it scatters in your hand, you cannot mold sharp sand. You cannot mold rocky sand. But when you carry a, a, a loamy soil, you mold it like this. You leave it, it will mold. It is the water nature of that soil that congeals that soil. That's loamy, irrespective of the color, be it black, be it white, whichever, soil that can retain some water 
to provide humility for her ability. This is our, our lecture for uh, uh, last week. Sorry, I skipped it uh, because I was busy. So I said, let me give it so that I will not miss uh, uh, the, the training. So this is this lecture. Now you can ask your question regarding loamy soil and soil in general. Once again, I remain your humble a shot in the cultures. This petrogenic of Philadelphia, Mulosa. <laughs>